Today I'm going to share with you guys how to add a receptacle from an existing circuit. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that we turn the power off. Once we verify that the power is off with our plug tester, we're just going to double check it one more time with our meter. Once we do that, everything is all good. Now all we have to do is basically take out the receptacle from the wall and basically untie all of our wires. This particular receptacle is inside of a pop-in box, so the only thing we need to do now is just basically get our impact and kind of loosen it up so we'll finally have access behind the wall. Once we do that, we just need to figure out where our studs are located. I couldn't get my hand behind it, so I used the wire and it kind of helped me to figure out exactly where it was. Basically, all this does is kind of let me know exactly where we need to cut it out so we won't hit a stud. Once we figure it out, we'll be going outside getting our measurement here. Now, all we need to do is figure out exactly where we want to place it. And once we figure that out, all we're going to do is get our pop-in box and basically just trace around it. Now, to cut this hole, we're going to be using the oscillating tool. Now, this is actually one of my favorite tools. And if you haven't used one before, I would just be careful with it because it can get away from you. But basically, all we're doing right now is just cutting out our square for the pop-in box. And once we gain access, you can actually see where the other receptacle is. And now we're good to go. Now this is all of the material we're going to be using to get this job done. The first thing we need to do is feed our wire from the other side where the receptacle was to where we're going to be adding the new receptacle. Next, all we need to do is feed our wire through the pop-in box and make sure that we get that tight. Then we're going to be cutting our wires to 6 inches. Now it's time to hook up the GFI. Once we hook up the GFI, all we need to do is make sure that we're hooking it up to the line side, which is where the power is coming in. And after we do that, basically we're just going to be putting the GFI in and putting on the bubble cover. Now it's time to go inside and hook everything else up. Now that we're inside, we're going to be feeding this wire through the pop-in box, and we're going to be splicing these wires to the original wires, pigtailing them, and then we're going to hook up the receptacle. Now when hooking up the receptacle, you're going to connect your ground wire to the green screw, you're going to connect your neutral wire to the silver screw, and you're going to connect your hot wire to the gold screw. I like to put a little tape on mine, you don't have to, but I just do that from work. Once we do that, we're going to put our receptacle back inside, we're going to put the faceplate cover on, and now it's basically time to check if we have power. Now to see if we have voltage or not, we're going to put our plug test in, now it's time to go back outside, we're going to turn the breaker to make sure everything holds. As you guys see, we got 120 volts, let's test the GFI, we got 120 volts there, and that's how you add a receptacle from an existing circuit.